This brief tutorial will discuss the process of updating to the latest version of Rattlex Radon Report Manager to ensure that all of your data is properly migrated. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll be updating to version 3.5.0, but the procedures described should apply to any and all future releases of the software. I'll be using a Windows 7 PC, but this process is similar across XP, Vista, and more or less Windows 8. I I think that's enough of a preface for us to get started. First and foremost, let's back up our database. This is the most important step of the entire update procedure. So let's launch the Radon Report Manager and click on the Setup button. Once we're inside the Setup window, head over to the Database tab and click on Export Database. You should receive a message stating that the database was successfully exported to the Backups folder, located within the Radon Report Manager's installation directory. If you don't receive this message, then your database has not been properly exported and you should not proceed with the update process. Now, to be extra safe, let's close the Radon Report Manager and navigate to the backups directory. Because I'm on a 64-bit operating system, I'm going to head into the Program Files x86 directory. If you happen to be on a 32-bit operating system instead, the default installation path will just be Program Files without the x86 in parentheses. Note that if you've changed the default installation directory, you'll need to go there instead. Once we get there, I'm going to locate the database that we just backed up. Because I'm recording this video on January 12, 2015, I'll look for the file named RRM Backup 12 Jan 2015. Uh, this means your exported database will very likely have a different name than mine does. After this is done, I'll copy this file to another directory, such as my documents folder, so that I can have it backed up in two places. Uh, the more copies of a backup that you have, the safer it'll be. After this is done, I'm ready to uninstall the Radon Report Manager. It's preferable to use Rattlex built-in uninstaller, but I've experimented with a few other uninstallers, such as the default Windows add remove programs, and even with Revo uninstaller and none of them have removed the exported databases located in the backups directory. Nevertheless, it's better to be safe than sorry, so that's why we just copied our exported database to a different location. If I wanted to be super safe, I'd copy them again to an external hard drive or flash drive. Proper database management like this will virtually ensure that your files never get corrupted, overwritten, or accidentally deleted. Now that we've uninstalled the Radon Report Manager, let's head over to the update file that I've downloaded. In this case, it's named setup underscore v3 underscore 5 underscore 0 dot exe. I'll launch this executable, grudgingly agree to the end user license agreement, most likely without reading it, and then proceed to install the Radon Report Manager in its default directory. Note that you can choose to install the software wherever you'd like, as long as you remember where it is and how to access your database backups. After it's been installed, I'll head over to the icon now located on my desktop and launch the program. Okay, so now we've updated to the latest version, but our database is empty. This is why it's so important to export your database immediately before updating to the latest version which thankfully we've done. So let's head back into the setup window, navigate over to the database tab, and click on import database. As you can see, the database that we just exported is still in the backups directory, named RRM backup 12 Jan 2015. I'll left click on it to select it from the file dialog window, then click on OK. A message box will appear letting me know that the database import procedure will begin, and I'll wait a few moments for the process to be completed. Depending on what version you're upgrading from, you may receive a few different messages detailing the conversion process. Uh, just click through them, read them if you want. After this process has concluded, the Radon Report Manager will shut down in order to finalize the import procedure. After this, I can simply relaunch the Radon Report Manager from the icon on the desktop, and I'll note that all of my data has been successfully imported. And that's it. 
you've just successfully updated to the latest version of the Radon Report Manager. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact Radilac at 1-800-526-5482.